What's up guys, it's your boy Mike Shinnery, your girlfriend's favorite YouTuber. How are you guys doing today? It is Tuesday. What is today's date? Somebody help me out with the date. I don't even know. March 15, 2022. Alright, so I just wanted to come through real quick and um, kind of give you guys some insights to how my brain operates when I see certain things, right? So let me see if I can move over a little bit. There we go. Move my chair over. All right. Get comfortable. Pull the mic out a little. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. All right. So there's a lot going on in the world right now, especially with the uh, economy, finances. Um, you know, the, the powers that be are at play. All right. Um, so the, the that's why I, I named this one the way I did, right? XRP, you know, had to spell it out, NWO, right? A new world order, right? We are in the middle of the great reset, okay? Financial reset, economic reset, power reset all over the world. A lot of things going on, but all is not as it seems, all right? So I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to start this off real quick, just so that, like, I know the people that come into my chat, you know, you guys are not stupid, right? And I know you guys will understand when I show you what, what I'm looking at. Okay, on this screen right here in front of me, or behind me, right here, okay, this screen, right there, all that, okay? There, this is actually four different charts, right? Up in this top left corner of your screen, that is the XRP chart. This is the one minute charts, okay? There's four of them here, right? So this is XRP over here, XLM, Stellar Lumens over here, all right? And we got Bitcoin down here in the bottom left corner. And all the way to the bottom right corner is the Algorand charts. Now, it's Tuesday, right? So Tuesday, tinfoil Tuesday. Let's put on our tinfoil hats. And I'll explain. These four charts right now, they are in sync. That's why whenever I, like, right now I'm in the bottom right corner where you see the arrow going around in circles, right? You see my arrow going around in circles, okay? I'm in the bottom right corner right now. And I have my chart set up so that they show the exact same time um, on each chart. They're all in sync, right? So what I wanted to show you guys is that if you look at the charts, how is it that I'm looking at four completely different uh, cryptocurrencies, right? But their charts are all almost identical down to the minute, right? Different prices, but the same action. So for instance, okay, if I look right over here where I have where I have the um, the charts lined up, you know, where you see the circles, you see the, the white bar that I'm moving back and forth, right? If you look, why is it at the same exact minute they all took the same dump? They all dropped in price at the same exact time. They all did a double dip, right? And then look, in the same minute, they all started coming back up at the same exact time. Okay, this is four charts. If you guys have any problems seeing this, let me know and I'll, I'll drop it to just two. Like I'll throw just XRP and, um, and, and Bitcoin up there. Two completely different cryptos, right? But this, I wanted to show you guys, this is four cryptocurrencies that all have the same movement, all right? So what does that tell you guys? When you see this is four different things. So imagine you had Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, and Tesla all up on the screen, and they were all doing the exact same movement. That would tell you that somebody is controlling what is happening here, right? So if you look, you see the charts are moving, right? So 
we had this big dip right here okay and as we go over it started rising and then what happened all the charts did the same thing look I don't even have to look at my chart I can just look at the screen uh, on my screen where I'm showing you like like oh. I'm gonna look back over here so I can <laughs> explain it so at the same time they all started moving and dipping and going lower and lower and lower right and then what they all took another big dip and then they started climbing all together at the same exact time all right and then up and then down up down this is the one minute chart this is what each candle that's on the screen in each of these charts represents one minute so see how they're all moving at the same time all my charts are moving right each minute it's going to move over because this this last minute one more bar is going to show up okay so i want you guys to look at those charts and tell me that this is not being controlled tell me that somebody's not controlling the movement of the money and this isn't one person all right think about it right now in countries all across the world People are buying Bitcoin. People are buying XRP. People are buying Stellar Lumens. People are buying Algorand. And in the same instance, people are selling all of these cryptocurrencies. So there's random buying and selling should be happening, right? But what we're looking at here is a coordinated effort to control the money All right so during this great reset the powers that be are controlling it's kind of like it's almost um what's that word that uh it's, it's almost like propaganda they want us to believe that these currencies and the stocks and whatnot are just randomly like people are just randomly buying or randomly selling but this right here is not random this is a live this is live right now you guys are watching this live okay this is not random look the charts are all the same for four different currencies in Japan right now, in Asia, right? They're on a whole different time frame, right? So they're not all buying and selling the same thing that we are at the same exact time. So why are four different currencies all looking exactly the same? When one dips, they all dip. When one goes up, they all go up. When they take a big dip, they all take a big dip together. When they take a big rise in price, they all take a big rise in price together. This right here is showing you guys. This is the new world order. They're controlling the money. This is the plan going forward. All of us in the crypto world and in the stock investment world that we believe we're going to get rich and we're going to get wealthy. It's like you got to be real smart about which currencies you pick, about which stocks you pick because it's all being controlled we're looking at it live guys alright so this is why I tell you guys if you look at majority of my last probably 20 30 videos you see XRP XRP is in the title of a bunch of my last videos right why because I believe XRP and Stellar Lumens and Algorand are all part of the new world order monetary system all right i've seen enough evidence to give me conviction that i believe the way some of you guys believe in jesus the way some people believe in allah and muhammad all right i believe the new world order the powers that be are going to use very specific cryptocurrencies and I'm watching it play out right now. They're controlling, okay? Three of those currencies that are on that screen right now 
are currencies that are all are all already in play with the World Economic Forum, the International Monetary Fund, our Federal Reserve, all the reserve banks of the world. Okay, they're all in cahoots. They're working with Ripple to build a connection of all the banks. They've already done it. It's already built. All right. That's why you see now President, um, you know, what is it, Joe, Joe Biden, right? He came out and spoke on cryptocurrencies. The Federal Reserve is speaking on cryptocurrencies. The, um, the SEC is talking about cryptocurrencies. All the senators are talking about cryptocurrencies. This was part of the play. This is why they created Bitcoin in the first place. Okay, look at the chart in the bottom left corner, right here, bottom left corner where my mouse is. Okay, see my mouse has that little, or the line has that extra little thing going in a circle, right? My cursor. That's the Bitcoin chart. Tell me the Bitcoin chart doesn't look just like the Algorand chart on the right, or just like the Stellar Lumens chart on the top right, or just like the XRP chart in the top left. They're all moving in sync. What's up, Laro? My bad, bro. Um, so in the top left corner, we got XRP. Top right corner is Stellar Lumens. Bottom left corner is Bitcoin. And the bottom right corner is Algorand. Now, Laro, like I said, all you guys that come into my chat, you guys are smart people. You guys can read between the lines and you see what I'm seeing. All right. So I have all the charts in sync. That's why you see the lines moving on all four charts. They're all in sync right now. This is the one minute chart. Right. And look, look, look at the chart. Look at the, <laughs> look at the movement of each currency. Exactly the same. They're identical. All right, that lets us know that these guys are controlling what's happening with the cryptocurrencies. And the same thing happens in the stock market, right? They control which stocks go up and when, right? That's why in the middle of the day, sometimes they'll stop trading on a bunch of stocks, especially the ones that have a lot of action or the one where people are playing options and the options are about to pay out. So they'll, they'll stop the trading. They'll stop the flow of money. In that instance. But this is what's happening around the world right now. People think that Bitcoin was going to be the savior. No. Bitcoin was a trial. Bitcoin is the trial run. That was the first cryptocurrency they threw out at us. Right? That they, they opened up for the public. That's why the drug dealers that were on the Silk Road were able to make money with Bitcoin. Bitcoin had to be connected to the banks in order for anybody to get real money out of Bitcoin. They had to cash out with the banks. They had to be able to trade Bitcoin for money. So who connected Bitcoin to the banks? Why did the banks let Bitcoin turn into real cash? This right here, my friends is how they suck the world in to the digital currencies. That is why Bitcoin has the exact same uh, money flow as the coins. Bitcoin is currently sitting at $38,000. $38,960 something dollars, right? XRP is sitting at 75 cents. Stellar Lumens is sitting at 18 cents. And Algorand is sitting at 70 cents. All different prices, but the exact same chart. So this tells me those folks are working together, right? Then we look at what our governments are doing. This whole World War III BS that they got going on, this is a way for them to mess up the economies of all the countries on purpose. Russia's job is to provide natural gas to the world. 
Ukraine doesn't have a natural job. China's job is to provide production to the world. They got bodies by the billion, right? They got over a billion people over there that can put in work for cheap. Rice is cheap. India. India's job is education. All right? That's why there are people from India in every part of the world, every part of the globe. Europe. <laughs> Europe's been controlling the gold for how long? Ever since the, the, the British Empire took hold after Rome, right? All right? After the, um, the Crusades, right? When all the gold went to the Swiss banks, right? Thanks to, uh, what's, the, what's their guy's names? King James and all them, right? After they got a hold of all the gold during the Crusades and they moved all that gold over to Switzerland, right? Neutral territory. That's why Switzerland has always been neutral. But do you guys know what happened this year? In fact, what happened last week? Switzerland, which was the last neutral country, Laro, as far as I know, bro, we got um, coal <laughs> and some steel. Um, if you think about it, so ch check this out. The petrodollar, okay? They printed money out of nowhere, right? In the last, what, three or four years, they printed more money than was printed in like the last 40 years. Or the previous 40 years, right? So they printed money out of nowhere. America's role is like, we're like the security guard of the world. Or used to be anyway. We got bodies. We got people that are willing to go and fight. We got this American pride that we are the badass of the world. We will go kick ass wherever they, they drop us, right? They put us on a plane Put us in whatever country and we're going to go kick ass. I guess we, you could say that we're like the, not the bully, we're the, um, we're like the hitman of the world, if you want, if you want to call it that, all right? London says, hey, we got to go take care of that problem. Who's first? It's not NATO. NATO doesn't go in first. No, America goes in first. If we need help, then we'll call and ask for NATO troops. That's the way I see it. I was in the military. All right, I worked alongside people, uh, militaries from all different countries. All right, but when they talk about world powers, what makes America a world power? You got to think about that. What do we provide to the world besides money and aid? Right. That's all we do. We go around. Supposedly, we're going around helping all these countries. How? The petrodollar has lost its might, right? Now, China just went into Saudi Arabia and made a deal where they're going to buy oil from Saudi Arabia using the Chinese dollars, the yuan, the, the Chinese digital dollars. Not the American dollar no more. The petrodollar is done. Russia is now buying resources without using the American dollar. So yeah, Laro, I think, and it's it sucks to hear me say it, bro. Like I said, America is my country, man. I fought for this country. I was willing to die for this country. And you know what I'm saying? I, I, I still don't really want to live in any other country long term. I'd love to visit and go multiple places. But I can't tell you what our power is today outside of war, outside of kicking ass. What is America's job in the world? Africa don't need us. Europe doesn't need us. We're not shipping oil from America over there. All right. South America don't even need us. Look, El Salvador just went and created their own money. They decided, hey, we're going to go with Bitcoin. We want to get off the American dollar. Right? So, 
the powers that be, starting in the 90s, they came together, right, to figure out what is everybody's role in the world. Right? They came together, and this is where we get this concept of the new world order. Instead of America telling everybody what they're going to do and what they're not going to do, it came down to we're all going to agree that this is okay or not okay. All right? Switzerland just jumped in the fray. They broke frame. This is how you know something is going on. Switzerland is not a military power. They are not a strong power. They are a neutral country for all countries to store money. Last week, Switzerland told Russia, this is what they're putting out in front of us, to the world, right? They're telling us Switzerland was punishing Russia for attacking the Ukraine. And so they're kicking Russia off of the banking system that we use, the wiring system, how we move money back and forth. Russia is no longer allowed to play with us. They got to get off the swift wiring system. But I told you guys six months ago, all the countries are getting off of the swift wiring system. We already knew this was happening. So people that are not involved in the crypto world, they're believing the hype like, yeah, man, America and got, got Europe and London and everybody to kick Russia off of the wiring system, off of the banking system. But I also told you that the whole world is going to use XRP. And I told you a few, uh, a few streams ago, right, that China and Russia and Brazil and India and South Africa, the BRICS countries, are already on a digital currency banking system. It's called the SIPS, C-I-P-S. And guess who's connected with that banking system? It's Ripple. The same people who are using XRP to move all the money. If you've done any research on XRP, you have come across the term all the money many times. This is why I believe that XRP, even though it costs 75 cents right now, is going to jump up in price to a massive price. I'm willing to wait <laughs> to watch my XRP go through the roof, to the moon, and around, around Saturn. You know what I'm saying? Might do a couple loops around Mars. You know what I'm saying? The price of XRP is going to go probably to where Bitcoin is. Bitcoin was a trial run. If you look in the news, if you pay attention to the business news channels, listen to what they're telling you. All the countries are getting ready to kick Bitcoin out of the banking system. All these people that are holding that Bitcoin, they're either going to get robbed, meaning ownership of that Bitcoin is going to get transferred to the uh, reserve banks of the world. Or they're going to make it so Bitcoin can no longer be traded for real money. So you have all that Bitcoin, but how do you cash out? How do you use it? Europe or the United Kingdom just did a vote. They were voting on whether or not they were going to get rid of all the Bitcoin um, ATMs. And they keep going in and out and in and out. And so they're messing with the people's emotions. The people that believe in Bitcoin heavily. That tells me the fact that they're, they're making these moves back and forth and back and forth like that. That means they're getting closer and closer to flipping the switch to making the changes that they want to put in place. All the countries are creating their digital coins right now. 
A lot of them are already done. Now, I've done a lot of research and looked into it and whatnot. All right. All I can do is give you guys, look, I'm going off the dome, right? I'm giving you the information that I have stored up here. I'm not reading no, I don't have a notebook or nothing over here that's, you know, with, with notes or nothing like that. All right. I'm, I'm just here off the dome showing you guys like in real time what's happening. Okay. Let me move that out of the way. Look at the charts. When one dips, all of them dip. When one goes up, all of them go up. That's controlled. Somebody is making that happen. They have bots set up to specifically make all of them dip at the same time. And they have the bots set to buy all at the same time. Four completely different currencies. The only thing that these guys have in common, right? is that Algorand is one of the banker's coins. Stellar Lumens is one of the banker's coins. XRP is one of the banker's coins. Bitcoin, I believe, was created by the reserve banks. That was the trial run. That's how they got everybody sucked in. That's why it wasn't until COVID that the Bitcoin jumped out the moon just I jumped through the roof it was while the whole world was under full control when they had everybody putting on masks everybody get your ass inside and stay inside don't go to work don't worry about money we got you they practiced and and and, and had trial runs for so many new things um during that covid lockdown Many things were tried out. You were tested. America was tested. The people up in Boston that always get rowdy. Philly, always get rowdy. Chicago, always get rowdy. Baltimore, they get rowdy, right? But what happened? When they told you to stay your ass home and put a mask on, everybody stayed home. And when they walked outside, they put a mask on. To this day, every day when I go for my walk, I see people walking with the mask on outside, outdoors. In open air, Arizona, right, where the sun don't stop. People walking around with their mask on. I might sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I might sound crazy. But what you can't tell me is that those charts aren't all moving the same way at the same time. Let me move my chair out the way so you guys can see what's going on. I have it right there for you. All right. Like I said, I, I told you guys, <laughs> I'm not just going to be rich. I'm going to be wealthy. I'm building my bags. All right. Okay. This is the only time you can hear me use the rhetoric that the women use. I'm getting my bag. All right. Oh, this ain't no briefcase over here. No, no, no. I'm going to have that big duffel bag, that big green duffel bag. You know what I'm saying? They gave me four of them every time I had to go to war. I had four bags that I had to lug around, right? With my uniforms and, and all my gear and whatnot. We had four bags we had to lug around when we went to war. I'm going to fill all them bad boys up. And when my coins jump and they, and they go to the moon... All right, when my 75 cent coins, you know, become worth thousands and my 18 cent stellar lumens become worth thousands per coin and my Algorand that's sitting at 70 cents become worth thousands per coin. I'm getting my boat. I'm going to go out to the San Francisco Bay Bridge area and I'm going to race boats. <laughs> I'm going to take all, 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 all challengers. You know what I'm saying? I'm a party for real, man. We're going to go have fun around the world. All right? Because I know what to do when I get a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? When I hit my first million, 
I know what to do with that. But I'm betting on a lot more than a million dollars coming my way with the way that uh, this crypto and stuff is working out. If you go ask a lot of people, you're going to hear different opinions of XRP. Some people will tell you that it's trash. Why is it trash? Right? They'll tell you, oh, it hasn't done anything in 10 years. It wasn't supposed to. XRP has its time. Its time is coming. And it's ramping up. When I started buying it, it was at 17 cents. I've seen it go up to $2 since I owned it and come back down to 50 something cents. And now it's back at 76 cents. All right. And this is while America is not even really involved in XRP yet. They said less than 5% of Americans that buy cryptocurrency. All right. Less than 5% of Americans that buy cryptocurrency are invested in XRP. So imagine what happens when we hit them Super Bowl numbers. When everybody realizes that XRP is the future world currency, the, the world bridge currency. I keep saying future, like if you don't go to Google right now, and if you if you search world bridge currency, do you know what comes up? XRP. That's the answer in Google. XRP is the world bridge currency. What is a world bridge currency? That is the currency that's going to connect all of the country's money. They're going to use XRP right there in the top left corner. This, this chart up here, okay, is going to be the money that connects to all the countries. You name your favorite country in Africa, they're going to, they're going to be using XRP to move their money. When South Africa is buying stuff from China, that money flow is going to be moved with XRP. This is where we're at in the world. And I'm just showing you guys right here, this is all being controlled. Everything you see in the news, the war in Ukraine, right? And what do they say? China's, China's messing with Taiwan. And if it hasn't happened yet, it's about to happen. Heed my words. You heard it right here. Okay? If it hasn't happened yet, China's going to go mess with Taiwan heavily. All right. You see, they're already doing another little lockdown over there in China. Shenzhen, where I used to buy my e-cigarettes from when I had my e-cigarette store inside my barber shop. Every week we were ordering our e-cigarettes and, and uh, parts and whatnot, right? And our accessories for the e-cigarettes. Yeah, I used to sell the e-cigarettes, the little ones, the long batteries with the big cartridges and all that. The ones that look like rockets and some of them look like, um, like machine guns and, and whatever. You guys remember when, when, when the e-cigarette thing came out, right? I was there. I had my own store. Me and wifey were selling and making our own juices and stuff. Everything we ordered came from Shenzhen in China. Shenzhen just got locked down. Check your news. Shenzhen is one of the most highest tech cities in China, and they just locked down Shenzhen. They did another COVID lockdown. Why? They're going to stop the production of a lot of the technology that comes out of Shenzhen. Just like they're stopping the, um, the boats, unloading the boats that are sitting off of the, uh, the bay in LA, uh, out in the ocean. Right? They're not unloading the boats. Why? They're stopping the supplies coming into America. Go to the store. The, the food shelves are empty. Go to Albertsons or, or, or Safeway or Fry's, Kroger, whatever you call it, wherever you're at. Where you see those empty shelves. There used to be lots and lots of ramen. You don't see that so much anymore. All right. A lot of your favorite items, some days you go in there and they're gone. They used to always be overflowing. And if you knew somebody, you could say, hey, can you go check in the back and see if you got some? 
and they can go get it. Now you ask them, and they'll tell you right up front, no, man, we're out already. Why? They're stopping the flow of the stuff that we need. They are creating a, this chaos on purpose. Is it the end of the world? No, it's not end times. Okay? This is how the powers that be are going to keep their power. All right? The only way that they could be defeated if we wanted to would be for all of us to come together and take over all the governments of the world. They're all working together. That's what's happening right now. They made agreements starting in the 90s and every year when they have those meetings, that's what they're meeting about. When they're talking about the... Um, the environmental meetings, they're not talking about the outside environment and green grass and fucking, uh, uh, what is that, the, the, the snow up in Alaska melting, right, the icebergs. That's not what they're talking about when they say environmental. They're talking about the environment of the economies of the world. They're talking about the money flow and who's got what and how can we work together. How can the powers that be work together? That's what they're talking about. Hold up real quick. I think my thing, I'm green, but something don't look right. Just a second. Okay. I'm good. Let me put this back. There we go. All right. So, I just wanted to show you guys this, right? Because like I said, I'm going to share with you guys what I, what I teach to my kids, my boys that I'm raising, all right? And this is the things that I can show them. And when I sit down and I look at the news and then I sit down and show them the news so that they know that dad's not just making shit up off of the, you know what I'm saying? He's not just making this stuff up. They see where I'm getting my information from. And then we sit down and we have chats. That's why I can sit down and I can just talk to you guys. Just, It's just up there. Alright? So, I just wanted to share this with you guys to show you. You can do this on your own. Alright? If you go get the Weeble app. Well, in fact, that's what I forgot to do. I got to put my Weeble... Uh, my Weeble link up there so you guys can, can can start buying buying your stocks and whatnot. Go get your dividends. Make the companies that you buy every day give you back money. Alright. So I, I want you guys to just pay attention to what's happening in the world. Right? Read what's happening. Read between the lines. Ask yourself, why would Russia attack Ukraine now? What's the reason right now? Is Putin crazy? Is he really a lunatic? Or have the other governments of the world gave him the okay to go in there and let them be the catalyst on purpose of changing the economy of the world? The reason for the Great Reset was the great Vladimir Putin. His name goes down in history. Isn't that what he, he wants to go down? He wants a legacy, right? He's the forever president of Russia, right? So maybe they gave him the okay, the go ahead to be the guy who goes down in history for creating the Great Reset. Maybe it's 2022. Maybe they go at an even number 2025, right? A nice, solid, strong number, right? <laughs> I don't think it's going to be this year where everything gets flipped over, where we go completely cashless. But within the next three, three, to, three or four years. Okay, you guys heard it here, right? 
like and subscribe remember this one add it to your favorites you know what i'm saying make a special like you know mike the lunatics uh channel or whatever right save it in your youtube save this this stream in your youtube all right because when it happens you guys are gonna go back and say oh snap that's what mike was talking about mike was talking about that cashless society where we don't have no more paper dollars where we don't have no more metal coins look at what's happening right now if you're in the stock market you already know all the government are buying up all the gold, silver, copper, bronze, all the metals. They're buying them up right now. The governments are. The big investment firms, in fact, are are they're racing to try and buy up some of the silver and gold and whatnot. But the governments already have a major hold on all that. Or the Federal Reserve Banks or whoever, the reserves, right? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I've been running my mouth long enough, man. Nobody's got questions for me. Um, shout out to everybody that came through. Um, shout out to everybody that gave a donation on the Cash App. Um, oh, you know what? Somebody gave a donation on the last show and I didn't see it until after the show. So I want to give a special thank you out to Darth Low, Darth Low IQ. Thank you. Thank you very much for your donations. I really appreciate it, bro. And I'm sorry that I didn't see it um, until after the last stream. All right. As you guys can see, like I get to, I get to run in my mouth and when my phone goes off, I, I ignore the phone forgetting that people are dropping donations in there all right so thank you to everybody that donated to my channel um in the past if i if i forgot to give you a shout out or whatever i apologize but i am very grateful for your donations all right like i told you guys all donations that come to me i am buying dividend stocks with those donations all right and who knows maybe when i hit my millions i'm gonna get on here and maybe I'll help somebody start a business or a few people start businesses, right? I'll give back to the people that donated to me. I don't want you to donate to me um, because you think, oh, Mike's going to Mike's gonna give me. Yes, Mike's going to give back. But I, I want to provide value in every stream, every video that I make, right? Okay, that's, that's my... Uh, like my gift to you guys is what I do up here. Okay. I'm giving you guys information, real world information. The same information I give to my sons who, who are becoming men or who are men of the world now. They are men of the world. Bama Phi Bama, what's up? Alright. This information is the information I share with my sons. Why? Because they're out there. When I'm out doing my thing, my sons are out there in the world as well. I got two adult daughters that are out there in the world. They need to know what's going on. I got a 13-year-old daughter. She's just as smart as the rest of her brothers and sisters. Why? Because I share the information with them. She's already learning to invest in stocks. She could tell you a whole bunch of makeup stocks, right? Because make her do the research and whatnot. She can break down a car and tell you all the different companies and um, industries that go into a car. She can tell you that Toyota doesn't make car seats. That Toyota doesn't make glass. Toyota doesn't make rubber tires. So she can tell you all the different industries that are involved in the creation of a vehicle. That means that there are many stocks that you can buy. Right? Just looking at a vehicle. The cloth that's on the seats. Whether it's leather or fabric. Right? The vinyl that's on the dash. The LED lights in the car. Right? 
Toyota doesn't do all that. Toyota buys parts from different areas. They've made they make their engines, right? They put together great parts, and then they buy parts from other places to create the whole vehicle. My daughter has learned how to tear apart a vehicle and show you all the stocks involved in that. You know, Michelin, Goodyear, she knows all of it. All right? She's, she's about to be 14. Wow, she is about to be 14 next month. All right? That's, that's my youngest one. That's the baby. Hold on. You guys heard my phone go off, so I have to check it now while I'm talking about it. Okay, so that's Well Squad. People are posting in the Well Squad. That's my cue. I'm going to go get to back to my studies before I go wash up and get to bed tonight. All right. Bama Phi Bama. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I don't know how long you've been in here, bro. But these four charts that I have up on the screen, okay, they're all in sync right now. And the top left is XRP. Top right is XLM. Bottom left is Bitcoin. Bottom right is Algorand. And I was just showing everybody that the charts are running identical. Okay, if you look on the charts, if we look over here in XRP where this big red candle is, look down here in Bitcoin at the same exact time, big purple candle. They both dipped hard. If we go back up here in the same time frame, Stellar Lumens, right? Big purple candle. And at the same time frame down here on Algorand, this is the live chart, okay? They have the exact same movements at the same exact time. I believe that XRP, we already saw what happened on Friday. As soon as the good news came out, um, XRP jumped, right? And that's just the people that are watching the court case that morning. Okay, it jumped. So I believe we're gonna it's gonna go up in price high. Um, and what they're gonna do is they're going to allow it to get up so high, and then they're gonna dump the price and get a bunch of people to sell off. Okay, they're going to get a lot of people to sell their XRP. In fact, they're going to do the same thing with all of the um, the bankers' coins. Right? They're going to let it run up. I say um, XRP, will probably, XRP will probably go up to between 7 and 10 bucks. Right? It might even go up to just like, yeah, they need it to go high enough to where people are hesitant to buy in. And then what's going to happen is they're going to dump it. And then a bunch of the people that did buy in, they're going to sell. And then from there, it's going to it's going to shoot up in price because it has utility. I believe that that's what they're going to do. So before before the settlement, before this whole XRP court stuff is done, we're going to see a nice bump in XRP. That's my prediction. A nice bump, right? Something that makes us all comfortable, that makes other people want to buy in, put money into the system, right? Because they're going to be buying from exchanges, from other investors, and the big investment firms, right? So all of those firms, everybody's going to want to make their money, right, off of the buildup of XRP. So I believe we're going to get a nice bump. People are going to buy in, and then they're going to dump it, force or scare a bunch of people, the fear, right? They're going to scare a bunch of people out of XRP. People are going to sell off their XRP just like they do in the stock market every day. I believe that's what's going to happen. And then there is going to be some kind of overnight, like, WTF, right? What the fuck, right? Some kind of overnight swan event that's going to shoot XRP up to, like, somewhere in the hundreds. And that's going to prevent other people from buying in. 
Because how often do people say, oh, that coin is worth 180 bucks. I want one. Right? They're going to get rid of a bunch of XRP investors when it jumps up that high. I don't think they'll do a forced buyback because XRP, as of right now, it's possible, but a forced buyback could only happen from the government that owns or the entity that owns the coin. Uh, XRP, the reason for the X means that no country owns it. So I don't believe that there will be a forced buyback. Unless America does something like gets the full rights or the Federal Reserve gets full rights to the XRP coin and allows Ripple to keep the network. Right? So say the Federal Reserve says, okay, here we're going to give you $30 trillion or $40 trillion and we're going to take all the take control of the XRP. Because the minute that they grab XRP, XRP is already making money right now. If you look at the um, coin market cap, look at the daily volume of the money moving in XRP. That's what it's worth today, right? So the day that they buy the, all, all the money, right? The day that they buy all the XRP, if, if they were going to do that, then it's possible for them to do a buyback. But if the Federal Reserve or the government of the United States does not take ownership of XRP, I don't think we'll see a buyback. Just because it's already being used by the whole world. So it's like, how much do they really buy back, right? Because um, I was listening to the news. I think they said that there are only 70,000 wallets. You know what? Hold that thought. I'm going to, let me look it up real quick. I just heard it today. So here, I'm going to move, I'm going to move the chart down. So anybody who didn't show up, they'll have to watch the playback to see what the new world order is doing with all the money up there. <laughs> but hold on. So let me move this over here. And I'm going to do a quick Google search live so you guys can see it. So you guys see that I'm not making shit up. All right. Um, how many wallets hold X? XRP. Come on, Mike. From the ledger exposed, there are roughly 1.3 million wallets with only 1 million wallets holding more than the reserve and a further 127,000 holding just the reserve. What? Hold on. Ripple planned to release a maximum of 1 billion XRP tokens, much more is governed by an inbuilt smart contract. The current circulation is over 50 billion. Okay, here. How many Ripple wallets are active? This is from Quora. Wow, that's bright. Okay, see, so these numbers that are coming up, this is from October 6, 2021. It said there were only 1.3 million wallets with nearly 1 million wallets holding more than the reserve. Okay. Yeah, see, so our Federal Reserve, as of October last year of 2021, um... There's 1.3 million wallets. 
and and a million wallets have more XRP. They own more XRP than the reserve. Okay, that's bright. Let me get out of there. All right, so that's 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 what that's what they were saying. Uh, let me find get back to my chat. There we go. You think they'll do for uh, what regret? What ranges do you think XRP and XLM will do? By the way, your takes are awesome, bro. I appreciate that, Bama. Um, what ranges do I think XRP and XLM will do? I believe XLM. The way I've seen it explained is that. XRP is like gold, XLM will be like silver. So I'm thinking XRP is going to have one main one main purpose, right? The Ripple network has a bunch of things that you they can do on it with the NFTs, the smart contracts and all of that, right? But XRP is going to be used to move money between banks. XLM is going to carry the retail world. So I believe I'm thinking somewhere in the $30,000 range. I don't know how long it'll take to get there. I'm thinking though when it does get to its 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 final form, right? Um it'll be in the $30,000 range and I'm thinking uh Stellar Lumens XLM gets between 5 and 15,000. So 30,000 for XRP and um, five to fifteen thousand for stellar lumens. That's my prediction. And, I, and I'm just basing that on um, like the retail, right? So Tesla became the richest company because they sold the one company's sold a lot of different things, right? And had government contracts and all that. So it took a lot for Tesla to become the biggest, uh, the wealthiest, I guess, uh, company in, in the world, I guess. Or in America, actually, in America. I'm sorry, because Alibaba, I believe Alibaba was, was the world's biggest um, retail company. So... XLM, once these CBDCs get going, is just going to move money from like companies to banks um, or like business to business um, for like contracts and stuff. But there's so many other cryptocurrencies that are going to be bankers coins that are going to help with that, like the Algorand and the IOTA, um, Hedera Hashgraph, right? So there's a lot. A lot of um, cryptos are going to help with the retail markets, right? Like we got MasterCard and Visa and all those guys are already involved and they're already working with certain cryptos and whatnot. But XRP is going to move the big money from country to country, from bank to bank. So that's why when we say all the money, right, because all the companies are going to work move their money through their banks, all right? For tax paying purposes. <laughs> all right, well, let me see. Uh, so do you think this XRP lawsuit is a sham or is the SEC really fighting them this hard? No, this is not a sham. I mean, oh, my bad. Okay, so yes, it is a sham, but what it was meant to do, it was meant to suck in more of the American people were supposed to get more involved, all right, and and pay attention to this law, this lawsuit that's happening, okay. And the other, the main part was to create law for crypto, but because America doesn't have as much people as we think involved in crypto, a lot of people still to this day have no idea what's going on with crypto. People, I. I work with have no idea what's going on with crypto. They don't believe it. They just believe it's all a hustle, right? And everybody's going to get robbed, right? It's a Ponzi scheme. That's what they all, I hear this from multiple people 
at work. When I show them how much I'm investing and what I'm doing with it and all that, and they say, oh, that's a sham and this and that, be careful with that stuff. Okay. All right. That's their opinion. That's their right. But the lawsuit was made public on purpose to try to suck people into um, paying attention to what's happening with crypto. I think they, they went... They went too early in a way where they didn't have enough people in it already. Like right now, you say CBDC to some people, they have no idea what you're talking about. Centralized banking, digital currency, what's that? Right? A lot of people have no idea what's going on. A lot of people don't know that we're going cashless within the next few years. They will no longer be able to go to an ATM and pull out a $20 bill. So the lawsuit um, was was set up to put our government in action, right? Because the powers that be back in the 90s and in the early 2000s, not all of those same people are in Congress or are in the Senate right now. So we got new people, right? So they needed to make this publicly known so that Congress and the senators and whatnot would would start um, making rules and laws, right? That's what this lawsuit was for. It was to suck in the government and the and 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 the American the American government to create laws around it, so that they can then turn around and tax me and you, <laughs> right? So that they can now look look and, and follow the. Um, the ledgers, right? And they can see this wallet. Oh, look at that. He just sold $80,000 worth of XLM. Let's make sure we get our taxes out of that. All right? They're going to be able to see the movement of all money. All right? Like I said before, the, the barbers, the bartenders, right? The, the waitresses. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to get tipped on their phone now. Right, it's gonna go through through their uh, their Coinbase, right, or their Crypto.com app, right, or their Trust Wallet, or their Apple Pay, or their Google Pay, or their Venmo, or their Zelle. See how they did? They sucked everybody in. All right, hold on. Let me make this bigger. This just looks weird now. I'm like the floating the floating guy over the ocean. Oh, imagine you were on a boat and you saw this. <laughs> All right, hold up. I know I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It's getting late. Um, but yeah, so the SEC, the people that were at the SEC before um, this lawsuit happened, I don't think they truly knew what was going on. They weren't part of the bigger plan, right? Because you know how the the powers that be, they got circles, right? So they got the inner, the, the innermost circle, and then as you go out, they got bigger circles. But each, the bigger the circle gets, the less they know about what the next circle in is doing, right? And so the the inner circle didn't share the plans with the SEC, who's on like the eighth ring of the circles, right? So the people that were working at the SEC, they were making money with Ethereum. They were working with Ethereum and passing laws and letting Ethereum get away with all kinds of nonsense. All right? And then they were told, okay, go drop this paperwork off and you need to start this lawsuit before you retire. Before you leave office, you need to drop this lawsuit. And then and we'll and don't worry about it. We'll let the next guy that's coming in, he'll run the law, he'll run the court case. You just go drop this lawsuit by this day. I think that's what happened with with uh, the SEC. But that's just me using my logic and my common sense. I might be 100% wrong. All right, hold up, hold up. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'll just video capture. Whoa, look at me floating. Whoa. Imagine you're on a boat and you saw this. My big head just up here in the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. I lost control of my head. Imagine you were up on a boat and you saw this just appear out of nowhere like a Martian. 
<laughs> Stupid. Alright, this one goes right there. This one goes right there. Alright. But yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate the questions, man, because it, you know what I'm saying, it keeps me on my toes to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Or that at least I'm positive about what, I, what I'm spewing out to the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you guys to think I'm just making shit up. I do know a little bit about a lot. And for everybody, my followers out there, um, it's good to know a little bit about a lot. But it's also very good to know a lot about a little bit. All right? So if you're going to be like a computer engineer and stuff, know how to write your programs. Okay? Make sure you're good at that. Me, I understand some code that I look at, but I'm not good at coding at all. <laughs> but I just know a little bit. <laughs> What's up, Star Platinum? I appreciate you, bro. I found out about you from the crypto gang. Hey, I know it, bro, Bama. I, I see you out there, man. And you know I'd be following them too, man. Oheen, you know what I'm saying? Tai City. Um, you know, I, I'm following. You know, I learned. I started my crypto journey on the Black Brain Trust. You know, and I, as I looked into it, and then I started hearing more and more people talking about it. So I, I went around, and you know what I'm saying? Those, those are people with like minds, right? So... That's what, what I call like the working together. You know what I'm saying? We don't all have to agree 100% on everything. You know, some people believe in Bitcoin heavily. Some people are like me and believe in the banker's coins, right? Some people are just making money with Ethereum, all right? But we all understand the crypto world or are trying to understand it more and more and more each day. Me, I'm just, like I told you guys before, I missed out on a lot of investment opportunities, man. I wasn't paying attention. I had my head in the clouds or in the water, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, living that beach life growing up. And I, when I joined the military, I was traveling and I was doing uh, I was doing what young men do, right? And um, so, yeah, man, I had my head in the clouds, bro. I missed out on a whole lot of investment opportunities. So when I found this, uh, learned about this crypto and whatnot, um, you know, and, and I kept doing more and more research and it, it just kept lead, leading me more and more towards the banker's coins. H-bar or algo? Both. Both. I'm like this. Bill Gates, IBM. Um, you got airline companies, banks, everybody getting into H-bar. Right? And then you got countries all over the place getting into algo. And they're both working with the banks and, and the rules that are being set. So um, I can't pick between the two. I'm invested in both. Yeah, Star Platinum, bro. Hey, man. I'm, I might try to make me an NFT one of these days, man. Learn how to do NFTs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If... If one of my cryptos blows up overnight, then I'll go and learn some coding, right? Because I'll have all kinds of time to do it. Um, right now, I just don't have the interest to to get like deep into Python or, or any of those the coding the codes that's out there. Yes, coding is the future. Everything's getting automated, and that's that's one of the things, man. Um, there's a there is a um, a link I was looking at. You know what? Here, I'll, I'll I think I can probably pull it up. There was a YouTube video I was watching where Elon Musk was talking about all kinds of things that are coming. So let's see if I can go find it real quick. Oh, it'll be in my history, right? Hey, look, that's me. Uh oh, look at that. The worst is coming. Peter Schiff interview seven hours ago. See, these are the things that are popping up on my 
on my YouTube screen. Massive ripple connection discovered. Oh yeah. So Wells Fargo is starting a new um rapid rapid pay something. RP RPT? Something like that. It's like a, some kind of rapid pay program. Ripple and XRP are making that happen. That's from Wells Fargo. If you look it up, um, if any of you guys have Wells Fargo as your bank, um, read the the notice that they sent out. All right. Um, so Wells Fargo is involved um, with Ripple and XRP. I forget what it's called. It's like their, their rapid pay program or something like that. Rapid bill pay, I think. Something like that. But uh, here, if we go to my history... Um, boom, boom, boom. There it is. I'm gonna get the link and I'll post it in the um. And if you'd talk to them about the internet. Let me know if you guys get that link. Um, that's Elon Musk just talking about the future and what he sees coming and, and some of the things that he knows. All right. Yeah, let me know if you guys are able to uh, click on that link. Because I can see it because I posted it, but I don't know what you guys see. Or actually, you know what? I can go here. And if I go here and look at the chat, there's the link there. Okay. Boom. All right, no problem, bro. But yeah, you guys check that link out, man, and and definitely do some do some research. Look into XRP. Look into the ISO two hundred two two. 20022 coins and and you'll understand why whoa hold up all right i can't do that to myself no more that's too much all right that was hurting my brain um yeah you guys go check that stuff out man um cuz the more the more we all know right somebody might hear something and even if like i don't have enough uh, followers and stuff. I don't have like a community page that I can go and post stuff. I'm not monetized, so I can't um, I can't do that whole subscription and, and all that where I can just share information through my YouTube, right? So um, sometimes I'll post stuff in Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, right? And that's why I have all my links in the description because um, until I become monetized, you know what I'm saying? I can't, um, you know, just make a you know, share stuff straight out. All right, so yeah, you guys go follow me on my other on my other um, channels and all that. That way, whenever I do put something out, or if I'm sharing information I got from someone else, I can give it to you guys. But yeah, so. Start Platinum, I hope you caught the beginning or, or at least the, the breakdown of what I was talking about um, with the um, all the all the cryptocurrencies being in sync. All the ISO coins and Bitcoin are all in sync. Um, when one dips, they all dip in the same minute. I showed the minute charts all at the same time. Um, when they when one goes up, they all go up. When one goes down, they all go down. In the same like increments, you know what I'm saying? Big candle for big candle, all at the same time. All right, so that's and that's what led me. I was just explaining how, you know, the, this whole new world order concept, how it's it's coming together and it's showing, you know, all these currencies. Okay, cool, you saw it. Yeah, all these currencies that do different things should not be having the exact same movement in a stock chart but they do even Bitcoin, which lets me know the people that are running 
the bankers coins are also in control of Bitcoin. All right. So, yeah. Hey, those of us that catch on to it early enough and we invest in the right places, we're going to make out like bandits. I'm not saying that everybody else is going to get wrecked. Right. I don't want to see anybody I know get wrecked. That's why I put this stuff out here. You know what I'm saying? I could have put this behind a firewall or whatever and all that. But no, I'm putting it out here. All right. People that have gave me respect, people that came into my channel, people that I, I interact with online and other places. Right. If. If they liked what I what I said somewhere else and they came to my channel, to check out what I'm talking about. They see that I'm trying to provide value in every uh, stream that I do in every video. All right. So this is like my gift to the world because I've gained information from the world. All right. I teach this to my sons. Um, like this is how I raise my sons. I give them the same information because if anything ever happens to me, you know, it's, it's on them now to take care of the family. I ride motorcycles and I like to drive fast. So, you know, any day could be my day. So I got to make sure my kids are prepared. For that day when daddy is not here. But as long as I'm here, we gonna get paid. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of here, man. Um, remember, like I always say, there's four ways to build wealth, right? Okay. Invest in yourself. Get your own company. You know, um, provide a service or sell some products, right? Because you're you're not limited when you own your own company. You're not limited to how much money you can make with that company. Okay. Uh, that's one way to build wealth. Another, like, you know, Walmart, right? Okay, Target. Okay, build some McDonald's, whatever. Okay, maybe you're going to paint boats. Somebody's going to have to paint my boat every couple of years. All right? Um, invest in other businesses, right? If you're like me and you're not smart enough to have a big business that goes off and makes millions, invest in other businesses that they already did the work. All right? So invest in those people, those businesses. All right, I showed you guys in my last few streams, I showed you specific stocks that you can invest in that you can start for cheap. If you only have $20 left at the end of the month, you can take that $20 and buy four or five stocks. I showed you guys Orc is selling at $3 and change and it pays a dividend. Orc is paying, I think, a 20% right now. All right, so it's paying 66 cents, 66 cents a share is the dividend. All right. So even if you only have $20 at the end of every month, at the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? You could have a couple hundred uh, orc. All right. And then you let orc, the, the dividends reinvest in themselves through your, um, through your, your app, like your Weeble app or your TD Ameritrade or E-Trade or your Robin Hood, whatever you're doing. Let it re let that money that you get paid reinvest in itself. Okay, then you have compound interest. So invest in yourself, invest in other businesses, right? Crypto, that's somebody else's business. They all are projects that somebody else created. That's why you have the NFTs, the smart contracts, right? Um, some of them are just moving currency, right? Yes, ORC. Yep. And look at how much it just dipped. I was buying ORC at five and six dollars all of last year. Okay, ORC didn't do anything wrong. It's a realty investment trust, a real estate investment trust. It's a REIT, right? They didn't do nothing wrong. It's just the whole market dipped, the whole market tanked because you know the powers that be, right? They have to do the great reset. All right, but I showed you guys ORC. ECC, uh, was it Eagle Point Comp uh, Capital? Eagle Point Capital. Um, and I showed you guys AGNC, right? Those are three of my top dividend stocks. All right. ECC and AGNC are like $13 right now. Okay. And they pay like $1.44 per share. So they cost more than orc but they pay out more per share all right so yeah orc orc is is my favorite dividend right now and then i got agnc and ecc right there behind it and then 
there's there's tons of dividend stocks, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep bringing out more and more um, for this. For this specific stream, I didn't want to go into the stocks because I wanted to show you guys what was going on with the cryptocurrencies. All right, so that's that's the reason that this stream I didn't put a stock. In my next stream, I'll put up another dividend stock. Why? Because you invest in that company and that company gives you back money. Specifically, you don't have to sell the stock to get paid from the div, uh, to get paid from the company. All right. So invest in yourself. Invest in other companies. All right, and invest in land or real estate. All right, that's that's the way to make money. There's a lot of different things you can do with real estate. Okay, um, I, that 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 doesn't even have to be explained. If you need an explanation, one of these days I'll do a stream on that. You guys just let me know. And last but not least, Kim and Kanye are divorced. They are both billionaires. If you marry one of them two fools for the guys, Kim Kardashian, she's now a billionaire. Okay, so you can marry into wealth. All right, I'm not saying that that anybody should truly go after that, that after that like like go for that risk. That's like playing the lottery, right? Um, but it is possible, you know. So you can marry into wealth. <laughs> okay, for all the ladies that come in here, Kanye is looking. If you can do your makeup, get as close to. Kim Kardashian as you can because he likes the look of Kim Kardashian as you can see by his current girlfriend <laughs> all right so if you can look like Kim Kardashian you can marry into wealth ladies all right so yes it is possible to marry into wealth <laughs> hey star platinum I'm just saying bro when that wall comes hey that billionaire wall is a billionaire wall you know what I'm saying it's not gonna be you no. Know, it's not gonna be just a bunch of pebbles stacked on top of each other. That's a billionaire's wall. All right. So people can marry into wealth. It is possible. Um, Sam Walton, the guy, the owner of Walmart and Sam's Club, right? Um, he left all his money to like his kids and grandkids, and I think like a couple of nieces or something like that. All right, and a bunch of them were able to. You know, people who married those... There's a lot of ladies that were involved in the Sam Walton empire. I think it was... It might have been all females or something. It was, it was like weird. Um, it was almost all females that got all the money from the Walmart. Uh, the guy who, who created Walmart and all that. All right, so they're all like billionaires and whatnot. So, um, it is possible to marry into wealth. Okay, I don't recommend holding out for that opportunity. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Go have your fun, live your life. You know, enjoy the, the minutes that we got. Once they're gone, you don't get them back. So don't hold out for, for the wealth. Build your own wealth. All right? Invest in yourself. Invest in other businesses um, and uh, land or real estate. Any over-the-counters you're interested in? Not at the moment. I can't think of any. Um, I haven't been looking at OTCs just because um, with the way that the market's been moving, I'm um, I'm trying to stick with growth stocks that are near all-time lows and all my dividend plays that dropped. I'm investing. I'm putting a lot of money into my dividend plays, into my growth stocks um, that, that dipped hard, that are near their all-time lows, and then also uh, cryptocurrencies, right? So, I'm, you know, my buckets are spread out but in very specific areas. You know, when, when times like this, when they when it gets like really volatile like this, then I like to put uh, my money, I call it, that's my smart plays. You know what I'm saying? When a hey, buy growth stocks when they dip. That's what buy the dip means, right? You know it's going to grow. You know uh, Walmart's going to do stuff. You know Nike's going to do stuff, right? Um, you know Microsoft, Tesla, you know that they're going to be doing stuff. So when they take a hard dip, 40%, 50%, it would behoove you to get some. That's where you invest, right? Growth stocks. Um, my dividend stocks, of course, hey, to buy a dividend stock cheaper than what it's, it normally is, that's just smart money because you're going to get more money. It's more free money that they're just putting in your pocket. All right? Like that's, yeah. People don't realize if you have 
20,000 shares of Orc, right? And if it costs you between three and five bucks, so say 20,000 shares cost you five bucks each, that's $100,000, all right? So $100,000 and Orc was paying 20% last time I looked. When I did the stream, I think it was 20%. So that's $20,000 a year for free if you have a, um, 20,000 shares of Orc. So I'm not telling you go out and buy 20,000 shares right now. What I'm saying is build it up. You know what I'm saying? You tell your 18-year-old son, you know what I'm saying, son or daughter, start when they're 18 or whatever and tell them put, you know, 50 bucks. Yeah, 20,000 shares. Yeah, 20,000 shares at 5 bucks a piece. That's $100,000, right? Now think about that. $100,000 that you invested and you're getting $20,000 20% a year in dividend payout. It's not a bad bet, bruh. You buy a $100,000 house, you're not even going to get a $20,000 back. Okay, so dividends dividends can, can do you well. All right. Fourth grade math, guys. Fourth grade math. <laughs> yes, that is sweet, bruh. <laughs> yeah, now you guys see... Why well, I say, man, get your dividend stocks in there. All right. Yes, Tesla looks real good. Microsoft looks real good. Verizon looks real good. Coca-Cola looks real good. But make sure you get some dividend plays in there. I like those real estate investment trusts. You can get some bonds through the government, but you see what's happening with the government right now. All right. So some people are buying heavily into bonds. Some people are getting out of bonds. Some people are going heavy into metals. All right. Except, I don't want to buy bread with silver, all right? So I got I got some gold um, in my stocks account, right? Um, but I'm not I'm not like one of those heavy metals investors because if you don't physically have the silver or gold or whatever, like, what good is it for you? You know, if the lights go out or they shut off the internet for whatever reason, you know. Oh, shit. Actually, we're all in trouble if that happens, right? <laughs> Except XRP. XRP found a way to where you can buy stuff without being on the internet. All right, using the little, uh, what is it, the little UPC code or whatever they call it, the UR code, all right? You're able to buy stuff with XRP without being on the internet. I think you can use the phone data. All right, so XRP, Stellar, Lumens, you know, Ripple, everybody that's on the Ripple net, man, they're doing big things. You're not hearing about it because Ethereum is is right now running the running the NFT show, all right? But all of the bankers coins, they're already on that train. You look up uh Ripple and NFTs or XRP and NFTs, it's there Algorand um Iota, Hedera, Hedera, man. Everybody's getting in on the action. Yes, Star, heavy on XRP. <laughs> do more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, do more. <laughs> Next time it goes on sale, get some. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, XRP, XLM, Algorand, Hedera. Uh, some people are saying Iota, but. I order, there's one that's, oh, Quant. I think Quant is not yet a banker's coin. A lot of people like Quant, but it's not yet a, um, a uh, compliant. So, but that's another one. Quant is another one that, that people are going heavy on. So, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Hold on. Is that better? <clears throat> testing, testing. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. All right. But yeah, man. Um, trying to think what else. What else was I thinking? Like I said, I just want to do the, my little tinfoil brain dump, man. Show you guys why I think what I think. Showed you guys in real time 
how the cryptocurrencies are moving. All right. So, so you guys know why, why when I say I'm, I'm in XRP, I'm in XLM, I'm in the bankers coins. You seen it. You seen it. The same people who created Bitcoin are running the bankers coins. That lets me know that the bankers are in charge of Bitcoin. Now I'm talking about the bankers of the world, right? The big banks. The guys who run the reserve banks of the world. Right. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here, man. Um, yeah, Drink water. Eat healthy. Stock up on toilet paper because the more BS is coming down. Like I said, China's locking down uh, some COVID folks again. Um, Shenzhen City is locked down. Um, so who knows what kind of BS is coming. They got some swan events planned for us. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared so you don't got to get, you know, stay ready so you don't got to get ready, okay? Um, get you a couple cases of water. It's good to have them anyway, right? So have some water in the house. Get some ramen. Get some spam. Get some rice. Get some propane for the grill or some wood, right? So so you could cook if the gas goes off, all right? If the electricity goes off. I got solar in the house, so... If, if uh, Tucson Electric cuts the electricity, I'm good, bro. Run the generator at night, solar during the day. That's the way we do it, man. But, all right, I'm going to get out of here, man. I appreciate you, Star Platinum. Thanks for coming through. Hold on, my phone did go off. Let me just check before I forget. Nope, I'm good. All right. With that, you guys have a great rest of the week. I will be back. Might be tomorrow, might be Thursday. Um, and I'm going to give you guys another stock. Um, I'll go through my account and and pick pick one of my dividend plays out. I just know Orc, Agency, and ECC, those are my, my top three favorites. Silvo used to be one, but um, they're attached directly to Credit Suisse. And right now, I'm not trusting Credit Suisse because they're part of this whole banking thing. So I don't want them to just like cut cut the dividend and make it worth nothing the stocks go away so anyway that's enough about that thank you for coming through i appreciate you guys um thanks for sticking through with me getting this information share it with your friends share the links or whatever um you know what i'm saying go on facebook just drop 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 my link in your in your facebook man just one page even if it's just for 12 hours you know what i'm saying let your people see it let them come through make up their own minds they might love me they might hate me you know what i'm saying i don't mind more haters Cat Williams told me I'm supposed to get 30 more haters by the end of the month. All right. So I need more haters. All right. I don't know if I got any haters, but if I do, I need more. So help me out, guys. <laughs> well, all right, man. I'm out. I appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Have a good week. I'll see you on the next one. Aloha.